Good morning. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to go through an hour long all levels vinyasa class. Make sure to grab any props or bolsters, paint blocks that you might need. Also, if you want some music, you can go over to Spotify. I have our CMD Yoga account. I'll put a link in the description box below. Take any of those playlists and sync it up to it or your favorite other playlist. We're going to start standing at the top of your mat in your mountain pose, your Tadasana. Letting your toe mounds come to touch or your feet can be about hip width apart. Finding length through the crown of your head. Just allowing your breath to begin to settle. And taking a few breaths here to come into this space. To come into your practice. Taking from this practice anything that you need in your life right now. And taking one full clearing breath, a deep breath in. And a big sighing breath out. Doing one more of those, a full deep breath in. And a big sighing breath out. One more, another breath in, and sighing it out. As you inhale, sweeping your arms overhead, reaching tall, and forward fold, coming all the way down. You inhale, rising halfway, finding length, and forward fold. Deep bend to your knees, inhale, rolling up to stand, taking a big shoulder roll, and two or three more. And pausing for a breath, a full breath in, and out. As you inhale, sweeping your arms overhead, exhale, forward fold, coming all the way down. Inhaling halfway up. Exhale to fold. A deep bend to your knees. Inhale, rolling up to stand. Taking a big shoulder roll and interlacing your hands behind your lower back. So taking another shoulder roll, allowing your chest to open. And staying here, allowing your arms to begin to straighten. Chest lifting tall. Navel, lower ribs, hugging in. One more full breath in. And out. Gently to release your elbows, releasing your hands. As you inhale, sweeping your arms overhead. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale to rise halfway up. Exhale, stepping back into your plank at the top of your push -up. A full deep breath in. Exhale in your downward facing dog. You can pedal your feet, bending one knee and then the other. One more full breath here. Deep breath in. And out. As you inhale, waving forward into your plank. Exhaling back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, waving forward into your plank, pausing here. Or exhale, lowering your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, your downward facing dog. Pausing here for a full breath, a deep breath in. And out. As you inhale, rising high into your toes. And exhale, slowly walking your feet to meet your hands. Inhaling halfway up. Exhale to fold. Deep bend into your knees, rolling up to stand. Taking another big shoulder roll at the top. 
Interlacing your hands behind your lower back once more, another big shoulder roll. Letting your arms begin to straighten your chest, whole length. Staying right here, a soft bend to your knees, beginning to fold forward. Maybe your hands stay on your tailbone. Maybe the hands start to lift overhead. Maybe your legs begin to straighten. If at any point this is too much on your shoulders, you can let your hands release to your hips and then all the way down to the ground. One more full breath here, a deep breath in and out. Letting your hands release back to your hips, down to your mat. Inhale, rising halfway up. Exhale, stepping back into your plank, top of your push-up. A full deep breath in here. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, your downward facing dog. Pausing here, finding your breath. Deep breaths in. And deep breaths out. As you inhale, rising high into your toes. As you exhale, step or float your feet to meet your hands. Inhale to rise halfway up. Exhale to fold. As you inhale, sweeping your arms overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart center, pausing for a breath, a full breath in. And out. Inhale, sweeping your arms overhead. As you exhale, forward fold. Inhaling halfway up. Exhale, stepping back into your plank. A full deep breath in here. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, your downward facing dog. Inhale, extending your right leg out behind you. Staying here, opening up, stacking your hips, bending into your right knee. Inhale to extend and square, reaching long. Exhale, rounding knee in towards your nose. Inhale to extend. Exhaling knee towards your right shoulder. Inhale to extend. Exhaling knee towards your nose. Inhale to extend. Exhaling your right shoulder. Inhale to extend. Exhale knee towards your nose. Inhale to extend, exhaling your right shoulder. Inhale to extend, exhale stepping forward your low lunge. Right foot steps, left knee releases down. Staying low on your hands or moving higher. You can have your hands to blocks, to your right knee, maybe your arms overhead. Wherever you are, letting your hips drop forward and down to your mat. Full breaths in and out. One more full breath here in. As you exhale, letting your left hand release to your mat, finding your twist. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. Maybe your right hand stays at your knee, extends tall, maybe drawing behind your lower back. Another full breath in. And as you exhale, in your right palm to your mat. You're gonna find your three-legged dog, right leg reaching back tall. Inhale to extend. Staying here, opening up, stacking your hips, bending into your knee. Staying right here, flipping your dog. Hips and chest opening up. As 
Jew and Hill coming back through center to reach long and filling knee towards your right shoulder. Inhale to extend, exhaling your right shoulder. Inhale to extend, exhaling towards your right shoulder. Inhale to extend, exhale stepping forward your warrior two, your Virabhadrasana two. Inhale to rise. Checking in with your right knee right above your right ankle. And finding your breath, calm, steady breath. Flipping your right palm toward the ceiling as you inhale your reverse warrior, tilting back. Another full deep breath in. As you exhale, cartwheeling down to your chaturanga. You're stepping to your plank, you're moving right through there. Inhale your upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale your downward facing dog. Inhale, extending your left leg out behind you. Staying here, opening up, stacking your hips. Inhale, take extend and square, reaching long. Exhale, rounding knee in towards your nose. Inhale to extend, exhaling to your left shoulder. Inhale to extend, exhaling knee to your nose. Inhale to extend, exhale left shoulder, inhale to extend, exhale knee towards your nose, inhale to extend, last time exhaling towards your left shoulder, inhale to extend, exhale stepping forward your low lunge, left foot steps, right knee to release, and finding the depth that's right for you, hands can stay low, to blocks to your left knee, maybe extending overhead. One more full breath in. As you exhale, letting your right palm release, finding your twist. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. Left hand can stay in your knee, draw up towards the ceiling or drawing behind your lower back. One more full breath here, breath in and out. Gently releasing your left palm down, inhale your three-legged dog, left leg to reach tall. Staying here, opening up, stacking your hips once more. Staying here, flipping your dog. Be mindful, you don't step on anything behind you. Hips lifting, chest to open. One more full breath here, breath in and out. Slowly coming back. Inhale to extend, exhaling knee towards your left shoulder. Inhale to extend, exhaling left shoulder. Inhale to extend. Exhaling left shoulder. Inhale to extend. Exhale, stepping forward your warrior two. Your Virabhadrasana two. Inhale to rise. Checking in with this side of your body. This side is gonna be different from the other side. Just allowing you to feel the differences and notice.
Tilting your left palm towards the ceiling. Inhale your reverse warrior, tilting back. Another full breath in. And as you exhale, cartwheeling down to your chaturanga. Inhale your upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale to your downward facing dog. And two full breaths here. Deep breath in. And out. Another full deep breath in. At the bottom of your exhale, step or float your feet to meet your hands. Inhaling halfway up. Exhale to fold. As you inhale, sweeping your arms overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart center, pausing for a breath. A deep breath in. And out. As you inhale, sweeping your arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rising halfway up to find the length. Exhale, step or float to your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, your downward facing dog. Inhale, extend your right leg out behind you. Another full breath in. Exhale, knee toward your right shoulder. Inhale to extend, exhaling your right shoulder. Inhale to extend, exhale to your right shoulder and pause, staying right here, finding your flying splits. One more full breath in and out. Inhale, finding your three-legged dog reaching long. Exhale, stepping forward your crescent lunge. Inhale to rise. Preparing for a twist. So either drawing your hands to your heart center, or you can leave your arms out into a T, finding length, reaching forward, and finding your twist. So if your hands are your heart center, you can hook your knee or your elbow to the outside edge of your knee. If you like, your hand can be on the ground. Wherever you are, letting your chest reach forward, your outer right hip draw towards the back of your mat, pressing into your left heel, strong back leg. One more breath here, breath in and out. As you inhale, coming back through center, reaching tall. Exhale, releasing your hands to your mat. And you inhale, straightening into your front leg. Your next inhale, bending into your right knee. Exhale to straighten. Inhale to bend. Exhale to straighten. One more time, inhale to bend, exhale to straighten. Inhale to bend into your right knee, preparing for your standing splits. Your hands can be at the ground or blocks. Letting the right knee stay bent, chest drawing toward your right thigh, crown of your head drawing towards the ground. Maybe the left leg starts to lift. And in my mind, I am perfectly straight. I know I don't look that way. So eventually we're gonna step back to your chaturanga. So if you like, you can step back into your crescent lunge and step back, or if you wanna float and ground your palms and float back to your chaturanga. Inhale your upward facing dog. Exhale your downward facing dog. Inhale, extending your left leg out behind you. 
and staying right here, exhale, knee towards your left shoulder. Inhale to extend, exhale your left shoulder. Inhale to extend, exhaling your left shoulder and pause. Staying right here, we're finding your flying splits. One more full breath in and out. Inhale, extending, reaching long. Exhale, stepping forward your crescent lunge. Inhale to rise. We're going to prepare for your twist on this side. So I encourage you to take the same version of the twist you took on the other. Your hands to your heart center, letting your arms open out into a T, finding length, and slowly the twist. Chest reaching forward, outer left hip drawing towards the back of your mat, pressing into your right heel. One more full deep breath in and out. Inhale, coming through center, rising tall. Exhale, releasing your hands to your mat. Straightening into your front leg. Your next inhale, bending into your knee, chest to open. Exhale to straighten. Inhale to bend. Exhale to straighten. One more time. Inhale to bend. Exhale to straighten. As you inhale, bending into your knee, pausing here, we're going to find your standing splits on this side. Your hands can be at a block or towards the ground. Let your left knee stay bent as the right foot begins to lift. Chest coming towards your thigh. Crown of your head towards the ground. Maybe the right foot lifts. Maybe that left leg begins to straighten. And breathe in and out. So we're going to make your way down to your chaturanga. Again, if you want to step through to your crescent lunge and step back to your plank, you can. Or you can ground your palms and float back to your chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale to your downward facing dog. Pausing here to breathe in. And out. Stepping your toe mounds to touch. Inhale, extending your right leg out behind you. Take another full deep breath in. Exhale, stepping forward your warrior two. Your Virabhadrasana two. Inhale to rise. Flipping your right palm towards the ceiling, tilting back your reverse warrior. As you inhale, rising back your warrior two. Exhale your extended side angle, reaching long. Maybe your form across your knee, your palm towards a block or towards the ground. Left arm up towards the ceiling or drawing overhead. As 
as you inhale, rising back up, straightening into your front leg, pivoting your right foot to meet your left, you're gonna find your full hands to your hips. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. To release your hands down to your mat, maybe the crown of your head draws towards the ground. more full breath here in and out as you inhale rising halfway up hands to your hips inhale press to rise finding your warrior two back towards the front of your mat for a full breath in and as you exhale cartwheeling down your chaturanga or lowering all the way inhale upward facing dog exhale your downward facing dog Inhale, send your left leg out behind you. Another full breath in. Exhale, stepping forward your warrior two. Your drasana two on this side. Flipping your left palm towards the ceiling. Inhale, your reverse warrior. Reaching long. Inhale, rising your warrior two. Exhaling your extended side angle. Maybe your forearm to your knee, hand toward the block, or drawing towards the ground. Maybe your right arm draws overhead. One more breath here in and out. Now rising your warrior two, straightening into your front leg, pivoting your left foot to match your right. You can find your fold once more. So either hands at your hips, or if you like, you can interlace your fingers behind your lower back. Your hands are behind your lower back, taking your shoulder roll, chest to open, arms to straighten. You're ready slowly to fold forward. Maybe your hands are to draw overhead. One more full breath here, breath in and out slowly rising halfway up hands come to your hips press into rise all the way tall your warrior two back towards the front for a full deep breath in as you exhale cartwheeling down your chaturanga or lowering all the way inhale upward facing dog exhale your downward facing dog inhale extending your right leg out behind you Exhale, knee towards your nose. Inhale to extend. Exhale, your right shoulder. Inhale to extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale to extend. Exhale, your right shoulder. Inhale to extend. One more time. Exhale, knee towards your nose. Inhale to extend. Exhale, your right shoulder. Inhale to extend. Exhale, stepping forward, your warrior two, your Virabhadrasana two. Inhale to rise. Moving right into your half moon, your Ardha Chandrasana. 
Left hand can come to your left hip. Right hand can come to a block or towards the ground. The left foot can stay on the ground for stability or you can let it lift. If it's lifted, keeping it active and engaged. Left hip rolling open. Maybe your left arm floating up. Maybe your gaze draws towards your left fingertips. Staying right here, drawing your right hand to your heart center, your poet's pose. One more full breath in and out. Slight bend to your right knee, letting your left hand release down, squaring off your hips. We're gonna move into your revolved half moon. Left hand to a block or to your fingertips. Right hand towards your tailbone as you begin to straighten into both legs. Spine parallel towards the ground. Maybe your right shoulder rolling open. Maybe your right arm up towards the ceiling. Maybe your gaze follows. Slow, steady breaths in and out. One more full breath in. Exhale, your right hand down. Stepping back into your chaturanga. So either stepping back to your crescent lunge or floating back to your chaturanga. Inhale your upward facing dog. Exhale your downward facing dog. Inhale, extend your left leg out behind you. Staying here, exhale, knee towards your nose. Inhale to extend, exhaling left shoulder. Inhale to extend, exhaling knee to nose. Inhale to extend, exhaling left shoulder. Inhale to extend one more time, exhaling knee to nose. Inhale to extend, exhaling left shoulder. Inhale to extend. Exhale, stepping forward, your warrior two. Your Virabhadrasana two. Inhale to rise. Preparing for your Ardha Chandrasana, your half moon on this side. Maybe your right hand to your hip, left fingertips to the ground or towards a block. Beginning to step forward, left leg beginning to press straight. And if the right foot is lifted, letting it flex. Staying here, maybe your right arm up towards the ceiling. Maybe your gaze follows. And staying right here, finding your poet's pose. Left hand to your heart center. And finding your breath. One more deep breath in and out. Soft bend of both knees, letting your right hand come down, squaring off your hips, preparing for your revolved half moon on this side. Left hand towards your tailbone, beginning to straighten into both legs, chest, crown of your head to reach long. Left shoulder beginning to roll open, maybe your left arm reaches, maybe your gaze follows. Finding your breath here. One more full breath in and out. Letting your left hand release. You're gonna step back into your chaturanga. So you can step back to your crescent lunge and lower or floating back. Inhale your upward facing dog. Exhale your downward facing dog. Taking two full breaths here. Breath in and out. One more deep breath in and out. Finding your child's pose. 
Your knees can be wide or together. Whatever feels best for you, hips towards your heels, beginning to let your upper body release down. Letting your whole body begin to release and let go. Taking three more breaths here. Deep breath in and out. Another full breath in and out. One more deep breath in and sighing it out. When you're ready, slowly beginning to rise. You're going to find your hero's pose. So either sitting on your heels, you can sit on a block or a couple blocks. If it's feasible for your body, you can sit between your heels. But wherever you are, finding a seat that's right for you. It's right for today. You can have your hands in your lap or on your thighs. And if being in this position does not work for your knees or your ankles or anything else, you can find any comfortable seat on your mat. It's allowing your spine to lift tall. Taking a few breaths here to assess your body. Taking any adjustments you might need, so maybe a little more or a little less support. And while we're letting our lower body release, we're going to work into your head and your neck. Try and keep your chest lifting the whole time, letting your chin draw into your chest. Staying here as you exhale, rolling your right ear towards your right shoulder. Inhaling chin to your chest. Exhaling left ear towards your left shoulder. As you inhale chin to your chest, maybe finding these half neck rolls left and right. Bring the shoulder blades release down your back, chest lifting tall. And moving with your breath. Next time your right ear draws towards your right shoulder, we're gonna pause there. Staying right here, letting your left hand come out beside you. Enabling the fingertips start to walk away from your body. Chest still lifting tall. One more breath in and out. Letting your left hand release, chin back into your chest. And moving over onto the other side. And staying here, maybe your right hand out beside you. Maybe your fingertips walk away from you. One more full breath in and out. Gently releasing your right hand, rolling your chin into your chest. Taking any movement that you might need, maybe some full neck rolls, going slowly and gently, or half neck rolls, or just finding a neutral spine. Taking a breath or two more. When you're ready, coming back through neutral. And slowly gonna find your way into your table. On your hands and your knees. Removing any support that might have been beneath you. And taking any action to release through your knees. So maybe it's extending one leg out behind you at a time. If you like, you can move into your downward facing dog. 
And from here, you can pedal your feet, bending one knee and then the other. And when you're ready, we're gonna make your way to sit. So you can step or float through, or lower your knees to your mat. Let your feet come through. You're gonna move into your bound angle, your Baddha Konasana. Soles of your feet together. If you need any support or like any support under your hips, you're welcome to take it. If you have really tight hips, this always feels good for me. So letting your feet draw towards, tight in towards your hips as much as is okay with your knees. Inhale to find length. Exhale to begin to lean forward. Staying within this lean, maybe beginning to fold forward. Letting your arms and shoulders, head, neck to release. But the letting your legs stay active, your knees actively pressing out and down. Allowing you to breathe, and allowing you to notice your breath. Noticing the quality of each inhale and the quality of each exhale. One more full breath here, deep breath in and out as you inhale, rising back up, letting your knees hug into your chest. We're going to move off of your support if you have it. We're going to move right into your Navasana boat pose, beginning to balance onto your hips, chest lifting tall. Staying right here, maybe your shins draw parallel, pressing through the balls of your feet. You can have your hands supporting on your knees, behind your thighs, or drawing parallel to your legs. But wherever you are, letting your chest lift and open. Staying here, maybe straightening into both legs. We're gonna do three total rounds, so pace yourself as needed. Taking two more breaths here, breath in and out. Another full breath in and out, letting your knees hug into your chest, keeping your right knee hug in, left leg to extend, we're going to find a twist, right hand behind you, inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. your left leg active and pressing down into your right foot to help stabilize your hips. Give you a firm foundation to twist from. One more breath here in and out. Inhale, coming back through center, left knee hugging into your chest, moving right into your second round of your Navasana boat pose. Finding length, finding your balance, and finding your depth. Chest open, legs wherever is right for you. Four more breaths here, deep breath in and out. Another breath in and out. One more full deep breath in and out. Knees into your chest, keeping your left leg and right leg to extend. Finding your twist on this side. Left hand behind you, inhale to lengthen. Exhale to find your twist. And 
And right leg active, left foot pressing down into your mat. Two more full breaths in and out. Another full deep breath in and out. Inhale, coming back through center. Right knee hugging in your third and final round of your Navasana boat pose. You can always do more rounds if you want to. Just pause the video, take four or five more rounds of your boat. No one's gonna say no. When you're ready, finding length and finding your depth. Three more breaths. Slow deep breath in and out. Another full breath in and out. One more deep breath in and out. Letting your knees hug back in. And then extending both legs long out in front of you, finding your Paschimottanasana, your seated fold feet together or about hip width apart, whichever way feels better for your body. You know, find length, exhale, beginning to lean, and within that lean, beginning to find your fold. Your legs can be perfectly straight, or if you have tighter hamstrings or a tighter back, you can have a bend to your knees. Start working into that space, wherever is right for today. One more full breath here. Breath in and out. As you inhale, slowly rising up. You're going to make your way all the way down onto your mat. Flying all the way down. So once you're down, if you'd like, you can bend your knees, hugging your knees into your chest. We're going to move right into your bridge. Taking as much time as you need to settle your spine, your hips, your body. Letting your heels walk towards your hips. We're going to take three rounds of our back bends here. So let the first round be your bridge pose. Letting you assess your body, your shoulders, your hips, your knees. Then if you want to work deeper, you can go on the next successive rounds. Then you're ready. Either your elbows or your arms flat. Tucking your shoulder blades underneath your back, and as you inhale, letting your hips begin to lift, chest begin to press up. Finding your breath in and out. Two more breaths here. Deep breath in and out. Another breath in a flowing lift. And as you exhale, gently releasing all the way down. Tailbone, the last thing to touch. And finding some stillness. For these next two rounds, you can take any version that's right for you. You can find your bridge right where we just were. If you want to find your wheel, your Dhanurasana, or your herb to Dhanurasana, you can let your hands draw underneath your shoulders, palms flat. And when you're ready, move into your bridge pose first, letting the hips lift, letting the shoulders set. Once your legs are stable, Letting your upper body begin to lift. And if this is too much on your wrists or your shoulders, stay in your bridge. 
taking three full breaths. Breath in and out. Another full deep breath in and out. One more deep breath in. As you exhale, slowly to lower. If you're in your wheel, come back down to your bridge. Set and then lower all the way down. Finding a space to be still. You can do one more round. So letting your body take whatever is right for you. So either your bridge, your wheel, you can stay right here and skip it. You can find a supporter bridge, a block under your hips. When you're ready, letting your body set up. If you're coming to your wheel, pass through your bridge first. So letting your hips begin to lift and staying here on your bridge or slowly rising taller. But wherever you end up, allowing yourself to breathe. Two more breaths in and out. Another deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly to release back down, coming all the way onto your back and finding some stillness, some ease, a place to release. Staying here, we're going to find your lying twist. You take any variation of the twist, you can keep your knees together. We're going to go to the left side first, so maybe your right leg over for your eagle legs, or your left leg can extend out long. When you're ready, letting your knee or knees come over towards the left. Wherever you've ended up, taking one clearing breath here, a deep breath in, and a big sigh out. And everything go. One more full breath here, deep breath in and out. Slowly coming back through center, realigning your spine, taking as much time as you need here in the middle. We're gonna move over onto the other side, taking whatever variation you, of your legs you took on the first, as long as it's okay for your body. So knees stack, your eagle legs left over your right, or you can take your right leg straight. You're ready, knee your knees over towards the right side of your body, or whatever side you didn't do yet. Allowing yourself to release and let go.
One more breath here, breath in and out. Slowly coming back through center. Taking as much time as you need to resettle, realign. And then finding your Shavasana, your final relaxation. You can let your legs extend, bolster underneath your knees or a blanket on your body. Letting your body be as most comfortable as you can be. Allow yourself to release and let go. And taking one full clearing breath, a full deep breath in, and a big sigh out. Letting everything go. deeper inhales and fuller deeper exhales and beginning to take any movement that might feel good for you to help reawaken your body Wiggle your fingers, toes, arms, legs. Maybe a deep stretch long or hugging your knees into your chest. And when you're ready, rolling over onto your right side and pause there for a clearing breath. Taking a full deep breath in 
and sighing it out. In time, making your way up into a comfortable seat and drawing your hands to your heart center. Sealing the practice today with a single OM. Taking a full deep breath in. Thank you so much for sharing your time, space, and energy with me and with anyone else around you. The light in me season honors the light within you. Namaste. Thank you.